I appreciate that. Dr. Clement, I'm, my wife, myself, our family, we take the supplements that you recommend at Hippocrates, and we've never done any exhaustive study or comparison. Can you tell those people out there as well that take them or are considering taking them, what is different about them than, you know, other supplements out there? Uh, when we create and produce supplements, it is because of what we discovered that 92% or 95%, depending upon where you live in the world, of supplements on the market are isolated chemicals created in laboratories with the name vitamin C or vitamin E or antioxidants. They give it, you know, sexy sounding names that literally destroy the health by weakening the potentiality of the immune system because the poor immune system's over there evacuating and eliminating the chemical waste that you've now taken called so-called natural supplements. We go back to the original tradition of the use of supplementation here at Hippocrates. And two other people, one in Canada, one in California, and I, uh, three years ago, created a nonprofit organization called Natural Occurring Standard, NOS. And it's our hope that in the near future, uh, as, the, as the years go by, we create a good housekeeping seal and we put it on bottles that deserve to be called whole food, unprocessed, unheated nutrients in a tablet or capsule form. And that's what we uh, prescribe, that's what we suggest, and that's what we know works. I have a book coming out in October this year. I'd strongly, strongly suggest that any serious person who's interested in their health read it's called Supplements Exposed, where I literally go from the day a supplement was discovered and what the guy's name or woman's name was that discovered it, to the day they found a way to create chemical substitutes for that. And I show you literally what those chemical substitutes do. And I give you a detailed review of why you should be taking supplements, as I mentioned earlier, but the correct ones, the 8% or 5% that are on the market today globally the natural occurring supplements and the natural occurring standards. In nature, as an example, one of the misnomers are that we arrogant uh, uh, nutritional science guys basically say, oh, we know better than nature. Uh, put calcium and magnesium at the same ratio. Well, I've never once seen in a plant that has calcium and magnesium equal amounts of calcium and magnesium. What we did discover after I've looked at 150 different plants, as an example, is that magnesium is always a minuscule or a very small amount in a plant versus a calcium. So that leads me to believe one thing, that we don't know what we're talking about in supplemental science. And the second thing it means is that we don't know a lot more that we don't even know we don't know at this point. So why not just take the plant or the plant extract that hasn't been heated to kill it, to take away the ionic effect, ionic meaning electrically charged effect, and how nutrients are literally absorbed into the human cell is through the electrical charge connectiveness between the frequency of the food base or the whole food supplement and the cell itself. Once you neuter it, cook it, process, or certainly chemicalize it, it basically has no way to enter into the cell. Well, we've done uh, multitudes of tests called spectrocell tests that prove this out, uh, where we look at when people take whole food supplements, how much do they absorb? They're absorbing it, practically all of it. When chemical supplements, how much do they absorb? None or very, 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 very small amounts of it. And so the best thing a supplement that's a chemical can do, most of them on the market, is stimulate you and give you a placebo effect. They certainly don't help you. And uh, Supplements Exposed will detail that for you. And please tell everyone so they don't waste their time and money, but also tell them that we say after 53 years, that people do need supplements because of all those reasons I spoke about before, but they better be the right ones. 